RF man here. Today I want to do a follow-up video on these 12 volt to 50 volt boost converters. Uh, my last video I demonstrated how you could take two of them and by using either diodes or 0.1 ohm resistors you could connect two in parallel and then adjust them so that you evenly distribute the load. That's typically called load sharing. And that gave you about 20 amps, which could drive a single LDMOS device. Uh, for a dual LDMOS device, you're going to need closer to 40 amps. So I've got uh, four of these in parallel. And I'm starting out with just a 5 to 6 amp load, uh, just to set up the circuit and to adjust each of the boost converters so that we get uh, fairly even current being distributed through each one. So this is the same setup that I've used on a couple of other videos. Um, you can see here I've got three 12 volt power supplies giving me a total of about 90 amps. And power supply for the 12 volts is at 12 point one we'll call it, round it off. Okay, and I've got the boost converter set up here. Okay, with four point one 10 watt load resistors, just ceramic block resistors. I've used 10 watts in this video because my plan is on the second segment of this video, I'm going to go from the 5 to 6 amp load to about a 20 to 25 amp load using those load resistors you see there. So I have this already set up that we can test it at a lower load and then go ahead and test it at a higher load. And that's really what needs to be done so that you uh, don't overstress any one of the boost converters and or open the fuses. So that's, that's the rationale behind testing it at a lower load, getting it balanced, and then connecting it to a higher load. So it's a two-step process. And you've got to adjust each of the boost converters. There's adjustment pots throughout, uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and point those out later on I'll show you where those are but there's some interaction so you got to be a little patient with it and you're able to adjust it so you get a, a, a fairly evenly distributed load so here we are I'm at about 51 volts okay remember we're looking at 50 volt technology for the LD MOS but they'll operate all the way up to 54 without a problem uh, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to use my current probe here and we're going to check each of the outputs. Now this is on 10 millivolts, okay, equal it to 1 amp, okay, so you got to move a few zeros, we'll do that for you as we go. So the first one I'm going to snap on here, you can see if we move the zeros, I'm at 1.05 amps, call it 1.1 amp, okay. That's for the first boost converter. Then we'll go ahead and snap on the, the second one, as you see there. And we're at about, call it 1.2 amps. And then we'll go ahead and snap on the third boost converter here. Okay, about 1.2 amps again. And finally, the last one, snap that on and we'll call that 1.1 amp. So you can see I've got this uh, set up so that everything is fairly balanced and there's a good distribution of the total load. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and switch over to the higher load and we'll demonstrate that as well. Okay, so now we're back and I set this up using these heavy duty loads. I'm drawing about 20 amps now at 50 volts, so that's a thousand watts. So these will start to heat up nicely. Okay, and you can see my power supply voltage because of the additional load just dropped slightly, maybe 100 millivolts, not bad. Okay, and you can see we're still uh, slightly above 50 volts, almost 51 volts. Okay, 
and didn't have to make uh, any adjustments using the 5 amp load versus the 20 amp load. So if you take this up to 30 or even 40, you're, you're probably fine. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll do the same test. We'll look at each of the boost converters and see what we have. So we snap the current probe on the first one, about 4.4 amps. Then we snap the probe on the second one, about 4.7 amps. And the third one, 4.8 amps. Remember, you have to carry the zeros. Okay, and finally, we snap it on the last one. There we are. And about 4.5 amps. So you can see, again, that the load is evenly distributed. We're drawing about 20 amps at 50 volts. So this is a thousand watts. Um, and I, I believe that this would be suitable to use to convert 12 volts, say from a mobile to uh, 50 volts for your single LD MOS. Probably need two modules, two boost converters, and then the dual LD MOS, four boost converters. You could take this up to about 40 amps total. I did test two at 20 amps because that's pretty much my maximum capacity and it worked just fine. So this is a very cost effective solution. If you're looking to convert 12 volts from your automobile to 50 volts and you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, these are about $20 each on eBay. Um, so looking at $80 total for the four converters and maybe another ten dollars for the resistors and some of the other miscellaneous components so this is a cost-effective solution i thought i would share that uh, with the community out there and also we talked about the uh, ripple noise and switching noise i showed some techniques in my other video on how to go ahead and filter that out those same techniques would apply here, um, really no different. So, RF man, thank you.